A few years ago, a buddy of mine suggested it would be good if I met his personal trainer, Bobby, which is sort of like someone offering you a, a breath mint. You accept the offer, but you wonder if they're being being nice or, or just politely critical. Anyway, this, this buddy was a, a Green Beret in Vietnam. He could could kill you with his pinky, so I agreed to meet his trainer. And he was everything you'd expect a Green Beret's trainer to be. He was young, he was ripped, shoulders out to here, legs like tree trunks. Hated him immediately until he spoke. He was nothing like what I expected. He was humble and gracious. He didn't get a, a, a judgy look on his face when he saw how out of shape I was. He, he was actually very encouraging. I just had this this overwhelming sense that Bobby was on my side. You ever had an experience like that? Where, where you're doing something that is way out of your comfort zone and someone who is in theirs is taking every step with you? That, that's a really comforting feeling. Here's the thing. You, you can do anything if the right person is on your side. Listen, listen to this famous passage, Luke 2.52. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and people. Now, we grow in, in lots of ways, and most of them are listed right here in this short verse. Jesus grew in wisdom. That's intellectual growth. He, he learned things about life and the world. He mastered subject areas. He accumulated facts and learned what to do with them. We all need to grow that way. Jesus grew in stature. That's, that's physical growth. He grew in favor with people, relational growth. He learned how to get along with people. You, you probably know some folks who could stand to grow in that area, and you may be thinking of them right now, or they're thinking of you. Jesus grew in favor, Luke says, with God. He grew spiritually. Call it soul growth, which is maybe the hardest kind. It's hard to measure, and it takes a really long time. But there's a word in there that can help. The word is favor. It's a really good word. Like when you need help, you ask your friend for a favor. If you have a party, you got to have party favors. If someone is fond of you, they favor you. If you do something for a friend, your friend owes you a favor. There just aren't many ways to make the word favor sound or seem like a negative. Maybe that's because in its original language, it comes from the word grace, the smile on God's face. The Bible says that Jesus grew in an environment where he was favored by God. God was on his side. He's on your side too. Like Jesus, you and I grow in an environment of grace, not judgment, not condemnation, grace. And that's good news. Not a sermon, just a thought.